Life with type 1 diabetes is relentless. It affects everything that I do in day-to-day -day life. I have to think about every single thing, food, drink, that goes in my mouth. I have to think about whether I'm going to walk from the train station to the office. Is my blood glucose in a suitable place to go for a run? I can do everything, but it has to take that extra level of planning. For the last 100 years, the treatment for type 1 diabetes has been insulin. But insulin is not perfect and it doesn't tackle the disease process and it imperfectly mimics the body's ability to make its own insulin. And the main problems of that is that too much insulin can be delivered, causing hypoglycemia, or insufficient can be delivered, leading to high blood glucose levels. In the end, treatment with insulin, although a lifesaver in the short term, leads to reduced longevity. Our goal at St Vincent's Institute of Medical Research is to look towards treatments which prevent or arrest the process of developing diabetes, to hang on to the body's own insulin production, which is the natural and safe way of delivering insulin. SVI and ATIC are working very closely together to introduce those sorts of new treatments by providing access to new therapies that are becoming available through clinical trials. That bit of insulin that's produced by their own body makes the management of this condition so much easier. It reduces the risk of hypoglycemia and it just makes life just that bit easier for people. We've been working on developing immunotherapies for type 1 diabetes for about 30 years and our research has shown that if we can stop the interaction between the immune system and the cells that make insulin in your body, then we might be able to prevent type 1 diabetes. In the BANDIT trial, we tested a drug called baricitinib and we gave that to people who were newly diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. We showed that baricitinib was able to slow or stop the progression of disease in people that took a drug and therefore they were able to take less insulin. We're optimistic that the treatment could enter clinical practice and that will improve the outcome of type 1 diabetes for young people developing diabetes. We're also optimistic that if the drug was used even earlier than at the time of clinical diagnosis, that the tablet could potentially prevent the onset of type 1 diabetes. The Australasian Type 1 Diabetes Immunotherapy Collaborative, or ATIC, is a very exciting recent development in our region. We've had a group of researchers working throughout the country on this one problem of how do we stop autoimmunity destroying the pancreas. We have a number of adult and paediatric clinical centres aligned with the top researchers around the country to run the clinical trials and to learn from them to tell us which immunotherapies are going to be most effective and how we are best to use them in an individual patient. Clinical trials such as the BANDIT trial are absolutely pivotal for developing new therapies for any condition but particularly for type 1 diabetes. Without clinical trials we don't know if new therapies are effective, we don't know how safe they are, we don't know who are best served by them. ATIC engages with consumers, with stakeholders, with people with type 1 diabetes themselves. So there's a broad awareness in the type 1 diabetes community of what ATIC is doing. So if we're doing something different, they want to hear about it. We have worked closely with JDRF for a long, long time, and it's a real partnership. As well as distributing grants, it's very involved in shaping the research agenda in type 1 diabetes. Not only have they funded our research, but they've also supported our staff and students in fellowships and career development. The JDRF have connected us with biotech and pharma companies that have helped us develop not only our baricitinib research, but also our research through our preclinical facility, Effica Biolabs, and also through ATIC, getting access to clinical trials. And they've also got a strong patient voice, so they've given us some reality as to what it's like to be a patient with type 1 diabetes. To carry out a study like Bandit, you need a big team to make that work. And we're very lucky not just to have a funding agency like JDRF and a provider of the medication like Eli Lilly, but really want to emphasise the fantastic teams around the country who work in type 1 diabetes. It's been a great privilege to work with them.
Attic is currently collaborating widely with colleagues from the US and Europe and the UK, but we want to do more in partnership with other organisations. And we are very keen to join other organisations to run the key prevention trials that will turn this disease around and do away with the need to use injected insulin. We're on the cusp of these therapies which change the progress of type 1 diabetes that allow the body's insulin production to remain that after many years of studying these things, these are now going to move into clinical practice. We're not there yet, but that it's a realistic dream to have a world without insulin therapy for type 1 diabetes.